Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this story is from the UK, but I'm sure it's headed here. Healthier fry-ups on tableware's as scientific breakthrough cuts cancer risk from bacon. Unbelievable. You honestly believe that if you eat bacon a couple times a week, you're going to get cancer from it? I don't. Britain's fry-ups are to become healthier following a scientific breakthrough, which has cut the cancer risk of bacon. And the rate they're importing a certain uh, class of people, uh, you won't have to worry about it because they'll have bacon banned. For the first time, food scientists have managed to produce bacon that does not include nitrites from vegetables or curing agents. The World Health Organization currently warns that bacon used with nitrites is as dangerous as asbestos, asbestos and smoking because chemicals produce carcinogenic nitro, nitrosamines when ingested. Kind of a tough one there. Uh, they have estimated that around 34,000 bowel, bowel and colon cancer deaths each year are directly attributable to diets which are high in processed meat. So I guess I better not eat that uh, spam that I have sitting in the uh, refrigerator. The Who has also calculated that eating two rashers of nitrate cured bacon per day increases the risk of contracting bowel, can bowel cancer by 18%. I don't know what a rasher is if I'm not looking it up. But now British meat manufacturers in a brogue have worked with Spanish chemists to produce the first nitrate-free bacon called Naked Bacon, which will be available in supermarkets from January, and probably taste probably won't have any taste to it at all. That'd be my guess. Many forms of processed foods have come under spotlight for recent years for their unhealthy attributes. You can get bent. Processed red meat, in particular, has a focal point. Professor Chris Elliott, no doubt a communist, who ran the government's investigation into the 2013 horse meat scandal, and now chairs the Institute for Global Food Security at Queen's University, Belfast. Uh, never heard of him. But, uh, my blood pressure is rising. Nitro contained compounds used in the manufacture of traditional bacons are known to cause formation chemicals that have negative health impacts. To have a bacon produced naturally, it doesn't require such chemicals as to be to be added or dur formed during processing. It's a very welcome development. Like I said, it probably tastes like crap, or have no taste at all. You know, I, uh, one time, I had a coupon for a free healthy choice dinner. It had turkey, some sort of uh, apple cobbler, and peas. Two out of three things didn't have any taste to them at all. Two out of the three things were completely tasteless. The uh, turkey and the apple cobbler. The peas, they tasted good. Neil Parrish, MP of the Chairman of the House of Commons Environment, Food, and Rural Affairs Select Committee. Good God, where do they come up with all these things? Said making bacon without nitrites and reducing the risk of the famous full English breakfast is a remarkable feat of food and technology and a brilliant British success story. So 
eating breakfast is risk now. Unbelievable. The purpose of adding nitrates is to give it your meat as excuse me, one sec. Characteristic pink color texture and some flavor and is also help as a preservative. New natural flavoring being used is produced from natural Mediterranean fruit and spice extracts following 10 years of research and development and critically, crucially, in independent blind taste tests, consumer sound was as good or better than traditionally cured meat. Uh, I wouldn't have any problem with it as long as it's you know, if they can market it and work for them, uh, more power to them. But I'm just scared of what these people do because they know how they think. They want to take this, they want to take that, and they want to take something else away from us. And that scares, you know, it scares me when every time I see a story like this, my blood pressure rises uh, very, very high because I'm thinking... Okay, I want to take this, I want to take that, what am I going to have left at the end of the day? And then you get the UN involved, the World Health Organization in other words. Uh, that causes my blood pressure to rise even more. Trouble. Trust me. Trouble. I don't know if this is privately produced and marketed, then... We'll see if it can survive on the open market. And if it does, more power to them. And if it's privately marketed. But if it's going to be forced on their throats, and no pun intended, then it's trouble with capital P. From Artifacts of Mars, this has been your Mad Science update for today. Thanks for watching. And go eat that bacon and egg breakfast. Screw these leftists. I'm Artifacts of Mars.